This is, this is how uh, one realizes who is a traitor and who is not. Bernie Sanders was a traitor and is a traitor and all, will always be a traitor. He uh, betrayed the uh, American people, remember, when he won the nomination and yet uh, he negotiated with Barack Obama and gave it to Hillary Clinton, the uh, uh, nomination for the, presidential, for the last presidential elections. And here he is again. Now he is uh, siding with the military-industrial complex, with the ultra-right-wing elements of the political establishment and economic establishment and military establishment in the United States of America. Bernie Sanders is calling for U.S. to invade Venezuela. Oh, Santo, how are you? Good, good. Thanks. Thanks for calling, man. Good. Listen, I have a question. Uh, it looks like there is uh, some grassroots courses in Elk Grove this weekend. So I, I asked Joyce if she could call uh, Greg Rubendahl. Greg is going to do them. And I think Trisha is also helping him. Uh, I don't remember which modules they are, but he's got one tonight and he has two tomorrow that are at the same time. So if uh, Joyce is checking with him right now if, if, if he's okay, you know, having you come in. Of course, I think he's going to be fine just having you jump in and maybe do um, a section in the classroom and then a section on the field. You won't have to, you know, teach the whole part of the course because obviously they've got a plan for it already. So can you make it there? Can you get to Elk Grove tomorrow to be able to do this? That's the number one question. Elk Grove, let me... Let me map that thing. Is it from Berkeley? Is it uh, the one that I... Is it about a couple of hours? No. Okay. Uh, yeah, it'll probably be about uh, maybe two hours. Because I'm thinking, you see, tomorrow I have um, I leave my classroom at 2 p.m. Mm -hmm. And then I'm free afternoon and then Sunday too. I think they may have one Sunday. I will definitely, I don't care what time, I'll definitely be there on Sunday. Yeah, I, uh, let me let me see if I can check it right now, see if I can find out if they have one son. Hold on one second. I appreciate that, Santo, whether it works or not, man. I appreciate you uh, helping out. Well, Joyce is uh, trying to get uh, you connected to them right now, so let me see if I know what... The courses are Okay, what do we have tomorrow on March 9th? Uh, let's see. Tomorrow is... Okay. Okay, so he has... February 2nd, 11 the 11th. 77, February 3rd, he has an 11v11 and a 9v9. Oh, perfect. Yeah. And I'm assuming that there's uh, 8 to 12 and uh, 12 to, uh, or 1 to 5, I guess. Oh, perfect. I can be there in the afternoon then. Yeah, I think that's the last chance to do this. And what I would do, what I would do is this. I would maybe wait about half an hour. I think Joyce was checking with Greg um, just to make sure that his courses are still on because of the weather and all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. And, and, and just to make sure he's comfortable having you come in, even though you're not part of that group that put it together or planned it. Yeah. Um, so what I would do is, is wait about another half an hour. And I would give Joyce a call. I won't be available in the next hour. But if you want to want to give Joyce a call directly, I would give her a call. And she knows that we were going to speak. And she can tell you uh, what Greg said and give you all the details you need. Perfect. So call her uh, around 3.30, something like that, right? In about half an hour. Yeah, well, I'd, I'd say about 3.15. Yeah, I'd say yeah. about 3.15 because it just, it just needs, she needs some time for Greg to respond. But uh, that way, you know, I, I think 
I think he'll be willing to help you. Greg has taken his license with us. He, he did his license in Reno. Trisha also did the license with us in Reno. So you've got two people there that have already gone through the exact same process that you did. And all you need to do really is just uh, connect with them and see what parts they want you to, you know, what, what, what part they want you to do and uh, have something to film or record. So if you have an iPad or something that you can use like that, that would be perfect. Or a video camera would be fine too. Usually an iPad is, is, is easier. Mm-hmm. Um, so that way you would, you would connect with them and see what uh, you would do. But for me, just to give you my suggestion, I would suggest that you take one step of the classroom. For example, um, you know, step three, um, what makes soccer soccer? Okay. And basically it's just about, you know, eight to 10 minutes of that, that classroom session. You can do that and have somebody film it for you. One of them can film it for you and that's your video. And then I would just take maybe one step of the field session. Okay. Let's say it's play one, you know, and, and just um, take the can take the, the coaches, whoever's coaching play one, take them through the process of coaching play one okay. and have one of those, one of those, those instructors film you. And then you've got the video for the class, for the field session too. Eight to 10 minutes as well. Yeah, it's, you know, it, it, that's all we need. I mean, it, it, DCC won't take more than a 10 minute clip anyway. So you can just, you know, film eight to 10 minutes of that, you know, but it's about doing the step too. So that's what I mean. If you look at the instructor guide and you look at the step, for example, you know, um, step three, I think it is, uh, what makes soccer soccer? It's, it, it'll tell you the number of slides that are used for that. And you just teach those slides and have somebody film you and then they can switch off and they can go back to how they were going to teach it. So it will be very easy to plug you in. And if they need help, you know, doing it, or if you guys, you know, end up connecting and you need help, I can show you how to do it. I can give you some suggestions. No, but I think good. that's the best bet to save the course for you. Perfect, perfect. I hope they, uh, yeah, I, I hope they're okay with it. I think they'll be fine. I, I think it's just a matter of you know now it's it's going to be first connect with Joyce, make sure that you know uh, it's still on and they're still doing them because obviously there's weather this week and a lot of things have been canceled already. Yeah. Um, so I would check with Joyce, make sure that you know it's on, and then she can connect you with Greg and. Then you guys can work it out. But let me know uh, one way or the other. If you connect with them and it's it's a go, let me know, and then I can also maybe shoot Greg a line and say, "Here's here's how you can you can work this out." But he knows he's been through the process too, so Perfect. these guys should be able to help you. So let me then uh, call Joyce Lee in a few minutes, and then I'll get back to you too. Yeah, just so I know that you're able to do it. Perfect. Okay. Good. Okay. Joyce will be waiting for your call. Thanks so much. All right. Thanks, Pablo. Take care.